Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday, July 9th, 12, 16 p.m. I just got back from the cottage. I just finished showering and everything. It feels so good to shower after a few days away. You guys probably heard me talking about how I was going away to a cottage with my family for a few days in my previous vlog. And I kind of left it up in the air whether or not I was going to vlog there. And I decided not to just because honestly, it's really nice to just take a few days off screen and just really be present in the moment. We're not usually all together like that very often. So it was nice to just live in the moment. I'm sure you guys can understand that. I came home to a bunch of packages. They're pretty wet because they were sitting on my porch and it was pouring rain over the last few days. So I'm hoping everything is fine, but I thought I'd open up the vlog with an unboxing. So we're gonna start with Aritzia because I already took something out. TNA Cozy Mega Hoodie in white a size three i just grabbed this like last minute for their clientele sale because i've been wanting just a basic white hoodie forever and i've realized that i have so many crewnecks but not a lot of hoodies that i love and Aritzia's is always such good quality um so i got it in the biggest size three which is a large i honestly probably could have done it two, but i'm assuming it might shrink a bit in the wash so better to be safe the next thing that i got is this baby tee so this is from the brand sunday best and i got this in a size small it's just a baby tee that says huntington beach in like this navy blue color i thought it was really cute just a simple basic tee it's actually really good quality too and i know i'll get so much use out of it and i think with the sale it was like 25. As always, everything that I'm showing will be linked down below if I can find it. Next up, I have Poshmark order. I've ordered a bunch of stuff on there because I'm doing a video with Poshmark again. So I'm just gradually waiting for everything to come in. You guys will see more in depth in that video. Aritzia Babaton. I don't even know what this is called, but it's like this black square neckline bodysuit. I'll have the actual one linked down below from Aritzia. Just have to put that in the wash, but that's the next thing that I got. Okay, next up I have a package from Cove Essentials, which is my favorite claw clip company. You guys know, I'll grab it because it's right here. I have this cloud clip from there that I wear literally every day. Quick, dirty chai break. So I thought it was time that I ordered another one because like I said, I use it every day. Oh my God, I love their packaging. Cove Essentials, like look how cute this is. Uh, they're a small business, I believe based in Canada, which is really cool. Cove, like look at the packaging of everything. It's so aesthetic. Like I said, I got the same one, just in a different color. So I got the ivory one. It's like a cream background with all of these honey details on it. It is stunning the last thing that i have is a pr package this one is absolutely drenched Ooh, it's like the box is so you know that feeling of a wet box it's so gross from l'oreal which is really cool like 13 year old me would be freaking out right now it's supposed to open but it the paper is just ripping because it's so wet that's disgusting it's for their i believe it's the dream Lengths new product line oh my god ew everything is soaked Okay, I'm gonna open this up and then show you guys like everything laid out or I'll just show you guys as I take it out Firstly, we have the L'Oreal Paris dream Lengths heat slayer pre iron spray So it's like a heat protectant and then we got the Dream Lengths eight second wonder water Lemurial rinse out. I'm not too sure what this is Maybe it's like a hair mask and then we got the super curls cream I'm actually really excited to try this out. Maybe the next time I wash my hair I'll use it and then lastly we have the l'oreal color radiance deep purple mask deep anti-brassiness and care fun thank you so much l'oreal so that's everything like i said i'll have everything that i can find linked down below but i need to clean all of this up and then post them on my instagram stories because i asked you guys if you wanted to see an unboxing of everything and 98 percent of people said yes Welcome to my bathroom. It's been a while later. I was just watching some YouTube videos, answering comments for my last two videos because I haven't been able to do that because I've been away. Also, here is the hoodie. I definitely could have worked with a size down, but it is so cozy. I love it. As of right now, 
I think I want to do some organizing. I've been saying I want to do this for the longest time, but I have all of my clips in here and brushes and stuff. And I think I want to go through that and organize, get rid of stuff, maybe get some clips to my boyfriend's sister because like realistically, I only use mine from Cove and Shop Holly and like my Cove one here. So there's no need for me to keep all of those. And then also I have these little... You guys would have seen them in my vlog, but I have these two bags that I want to put my everyday makeup into just because as of right now I have it all in here which is like nice but I feel like it's so big and very organized and it's better for if I'm going away and I need to bring a bunch of stuff so I'm just gonna move it into one of these. I'm thinking the flower one because it's cute but we'll tackle that after. Okay, that did not take long at all, but I have all the clips in here. I'm just gonna give them to my boyfriend's sister, like I said, and just be like, okay, sort through them with your friends. If you guys don't want them, just give them back to me and I'll deal with it, but just have those there. And then um, this is the other makeup that bag that I was using. It's from the brand right there. It's like AIM Kestenberg or something like that. I got it from Winners. I love it. Like I said, it's really spacious. It's better for like traveling. So when I travel somewhere and need to bring a bunch of stuff, I'll put it in there. But as of right now, I just moved it all into here. The only thing that I don't have in here is my beauty blender, but it can really easily fit in here. And it's like literally the perfect size ever. So love that. Here's a basket, way more organized. Just have all of my scrunchies, headbands back here, my brushes and then all of my clips. I just have these two from Garage, but the rest are my Cove and Shop Holly ones. Okay guys, I just got back from getting a burrito. It was fucking incredible. I forgot to vlog it, but I get a steak and sweet potato on white with rice, refried beans, lettuce, cilantro, onions, pico de gallo, corn salsa, mild salsa, feta, guacamole, <laughs> chipotle, and burrito sauce. It's fucking incredible. Try it and you won't go back. But I came home to a package, another one, <laughs> that I thought I would open up for you guys. It is from The Way. There's a few things in here that I can't show you guys because it's for an upcoming collaboration. But I believe they sent me some restocks as well that will be in here. So I will show you guys that. You guys know I'm obsessed with the way I've been using their hair products religiously ever since I found their company in January, if you go all the way back to my vlogs. So I'm just really excited that I get to work with them. And that's all I'm gonna say. You guys will have to wait to see what I'm doing. But yeah, they just sent me some restocks and the product so I can try it out. Their packaging is always so nice. Ooh. There's a lot of goodies in here. Okay, let me pull them out and show you so I don't give you a sneak peek of what you can't see yet. So, firstly, they sent over their hand wash. I'm so excited to try this. I have their body wash, which I love, so I'm so excited to try out their hand wash. Dean Street, is that the scent? I don't know. Let me smell it. Oh, wow, that smells incredible. You guys know the way stuff always smells so good. If you haven't tried the way, you guys are seriously missing out. I'm not kidding. Okay, next up I got a restock of the Fine Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. These are my rider dyes. And then next I got the Wave Spray. I need to play around and figure out how to use this, but you guys would have seen me using this in my last vlog. And then this one I'm so excited about. I got the Detox Shampoo. My friend Maria has this and she swears by it. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. So you use this once a week. I try to wash my hair twice a week or like every three days. So I think I'm going to use this shampoo every other wash. Um, it's really good to get rid of all the buildup of hairspray, dry shampoo. It's literally detoxing your hair. My friend said that it helps her hair stay less greasy and fresh for longer too. So I'm so excited to try this. Maybe next time I wash my hair, I will vlog it and I'll show you guys and give you like a first impressions of how this is. Thank you so much, 
the way and we'll have all of these linked down below. I was digging and I forgot this little guy. He was under everything, but I also picked up the way hair oil. I've never tried this before, but I'm super excited. So like I said, I'll definitely include it in a vlog when I use these two because I've never used them before. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday at 9 a.m. I'm on my way to my hair appointment. I was really planning on like getting ready with you guys and sitting down and just like talking to you about what I'm doing before I got in the car. But like, it's one of those mornings for me. I spilt a brand new jar of peanut butter everywhere. I had to clean that up. And then my dad spilled his coffee. I'm like, wait, what is going on right now? I feel like everyone is just a klutz right now. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on. But I'm wearing my cute little Huntington Beach graphic from Aritzia you guys saw yesterday. And yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along for my hair appointment. I'm not getting anything extreme. You guys know I'm loving the brunette hair right now. So I think I'm just getting a tone and cut. Um, because I'm just trying to like fade out the rest of the blonde hair and let all of my natural hair grow in. I'm a natural queen right now. I'm just loving the brown hair. And then I also got my brown sugar shaken espresso. I don't think I'm gonna get those like really short bangs anymore. I'm just gonna get the longer curtain bangs one just because it's really annoying when I want to like pin my hair back like this. So if I do miss them, I will get it the next time I get a haircut. But guys, I actually realized I've not gotten my hair done since February. And it is July. That's five months because everything was shut down. So I definitely want to make a habit to start getting frequent haircuts every four or five weeks because I've heard that has such a tremendous impact on your hair health and I'm really, really trying to have long hair. I cut it short around here last time I got my hair done, but I really, I want it like down to my ass or like at least down to like my mid stomach. So that's kind of my goals right now. And now that I'm not coloring my hair, like bleaching it blonde and everything, it's a lot easier to keep up with growth and health and everything. I've already noticed that it's way healthier. So I'm just getting a little trim and then we're growing that baby out. So if you guys honestly know any like supplements for hair growth, let me know because I'm really down to try those. I know there's like a lot of Instagram shops that sell them, but yeah, let me know and I'll see you guys at the salon. Okay guys, hair done. I took a few clips, but honestly it's so hard to vlog in the salon, especially like since they just opened. I didn't want to like bring my camera in, but we had to cut so much off because my hair was so fucking dead. Well, because I haven't been since February. I haven't even got a cut in five months. So like she was so, she was cringing so hard at my hair, so. It feels so good, but we basically just did a tone to match my natural hair color and then it will fade out over time. I think I'm just literally gonna get tones until all of my hair has grown out because I really just want my natural hair color. I didn't do the short bangs here. As you guys can see, I just like did longer curtain bangs, long layers. Maybe I'll show you guys like when I get home in better lighting because I can't tell but the camera is so dark right now. Hey guys, I actually just came to the mall because I want to go in indigo here. I keep seeing this book called Malibu Rising all over TikTok and I kind of want to get it. So I'm here, I'm going to pick it up and I also wanted to see if they have the five minute journal while I'm here because I really need to get back into like manifestations and gratitude and everything because I have not really been doing it. I feel like that book is a really good way to do it and like helps me do it every single morning. So we're gonna get that, but you can kind of see my haircut. It's cute. I'm home. I have you resting on a plant because I forgot my tripod in my car. But here is a better look at my hair. I feel like it looks really dark. It will fade out, obviously, and then it kind of just like matches my natural hair color. I don't know. I'm just 
loving their brunette like i said my hair was so dead so she had to cut off so much which is annoying but it's because i couldn't get a haircut in like five months so she said i should come back in like five weeks to get another cut um and then just get like little micro cuts every five weeks because that will help it grow like i want it to be like down to here so these are the two things that i got at indigo it was kind of expensive this five minute journal was 26 dollars which is so much but if you guys haven't seen this it's basically like a gratitude journal that you do every morning so you write the date and then you put i three things you're grateful for three things i would make today great your daily affirmation and then there's like a section for nighttime so i'm really really excited to use this and the beige color is adorable and then i also got malibu rising by taylor jenkins reed i still have like barely dented we are liars read about that much it's just so slow it's so hard to get into it but i'm gonna try reading it tonight hopefully that can get me into it and then obviously i want to read this one soon hey everyone it is hours later i was hanging out with rochelle we had like a little pool day and now i have just picked up dinner with my brother i don't really vlog with my friends just because i like to live in the moment but let me show you this food i feel like all i do is buy food and vlogs but whatever so we got some honey hot wings with some veggies and ranch some onion rings mm. and some fries all me kale all me and kale do is eat but it's whatever look how good this looks okay guys you just saw a clip of me eating wings and now i have a package that i want to open up for you guys i just checked the mail it's from 437 so i ordered from there about a month ago i got the leo top and the aubrey bottoms and to be honest I'm not in love with the Aubrey bottoms. I got them in a small and I feel like I should have gotten an extra small because like the length, I'm gonna like get really graphic with you guys. The length here is too long on me. So it all like bunches up right above my butt cheek. And if I pull it up higher, it just doesn't work because it's just too big. So I wanted to try a different bottom and i think i might sell my can my aubrey bottoms i've only worn them twice i might do that on my poshmark for like 40 dollars, honestly just to get something for it and then order them in an extra small but they are currently running a 20 percent off site wide for their anniversary i believe so i took advantage of that and i ordered the kenzie bottoms so they're more of a thinner high-waisted fit and a thong, which I think I will personally like better. And I ordered them in an extra small. Oh my gosh, it comes with a cute tote bag. That's adorable. Wow, I'm very excited about that. My last order didn't come with one. So that might be just for their 20% off, but it's actually like a nice sized tote bag. For the Kenzie bottoms in the description, it says to size down one because they run big. So I got an extra small a size down than what I got normally. These actually look like they will fit perfectly. They are very cheeky. I will say that. Like this is the front and then this is the back. Kind of want to try them on right now. I won't show you guys just because they're like literally a thong and I'm very bloated. I just ate a bunch of wings, but I personally... Just want to see what they look like on and then if i don't like them i will return them i have these linked down below and if the sale is still going on if you guys have been thinking about shopping from 437 definitely take advantage of their 20 percent off sale right now hello everyone the reality of what i look like when i edit a video but it is monday i just finished editing this vlog and i kind of just stopped it really abruptly i was planning on continuing the vlog all weekend but then saturday night i went to my boyfriend's house we were drinking watching the ufc fight and i hung out with rochelle later and drank with some friends when she was off work and then sunday i was pretty hungover and all i did was eat food <laughs> i went to this really amazing pancake place called stacked i've never been there before but like me joe and rochelle went and it was so good we got just like a breakfast meal so it came with two eggs two sausage two bacon and then we got like these loaded home fries with peppers jalapenos cheese hollandaise sauce and then waffles and they were so good i wish i took a photo but i got like nutella banana 
waffles it was so good and then joe and rochelle got cinnamon bun pancakes like definitely necessary after a night of drinking <laughs> i don't think we had lunch and then we had burgers for dinner farm boy burgers and then we got dairy queen <laughs> so needless to say i ate like shit yesterday but honestly that's what the weekend's for i try to eat healthy during the week and then kind of let myself go on the weekends everything in moderation but i'm going to end the vlog here and i'm going to start a new one today so subscribe if you're new give this video a like if you enjoyed it leave me a comment i love talking to you guys follow my instagram and i'll see you guys in a few days